And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and today we're bringing to you the official news for Ryzen 5. Ryzen 7 has been released, and yes, I know we have delayed our review, but I rest, rest assured that it is on its way in the coming days. Now, let's fo turn our focus specifically to the Ryzen 5 lineup. Now, AMD are claiming this is innovation for the sub $300 CPU market, so we can definitely expect these to be under $300. Now, they are really targeting a lot in the Ryzen 5 lineup because according to them, twice as many people choose processors in this price category versus the more expensive one. And of course, they're trying to continue their disruptive price to performance for both gamers and creators. Uh, very important to notice that balance there between gaming and creating uh, due to what we've seen so far from the Ryzen lineup of the Ryzen 7 chip. Now, all of Ryzen 5 CPUs will be featuring the full Sense MI technology, so pure power, precision boost, XFR to uh, certain degrees, which we'll discuss later when we talk about the individual chips themselves, as well as the neural net prediction and smart prefetch to help with that single threaded uh, performance. And carrying on the tradition of the Ryzen 7 chips, just like AMD announced, all Ryzen 5 CPUs will be fully unlocked. So even though they may have one uh, frequency that they ship with that they'll be working out of the box using, well, it's up to you how far you want to push it or can push it. So we, again, don't know the potential of these chips as far as they're limiting. Do they overclock the same as the Ryzen 7 chips? We don't know yet. We'll find out whenever we start getting those in soon. Um, now, what is a Ryzen 5? Ryzen 5 it features two different setup of CPUs. It features both 6-core 12-thread parts as well as 4-core 8-thread parts. So the Ryzen 5 family does feature, there's a bit more variation in the feature set for the Ryzen 5 family, whereas the 7 stuck specifically to 8 cores and 16 threads for all of the chips in that lineup. Now, starting off, they've got the flagship Ryzen 5, the 1600X, 6 cores, 12 threads, 3.6 gigahertz base with a 4 gigahertz uh, boost featuring the full one extra 100 megahertz XFR. So you, you can jump up and down or not, whether you, however you feel about the extra 100 megahertz with the XFR. But moving, well, taking a look at what they're looking at with the 1600X, they're comparing its multi-core, multi-threaded capabilities versus its closest price competitor being the Core i5-7600K as a quad-core, quad-threaded chip. Now, of course, these are stock results. It's showing that in Cinebench multi-thread, the Ryzen 5 1600X is up to 69% faster. Well... 69% more capable in computing tasks. So that's uh, that'll be interesting to see how that translates into uh, gaming compared to the i5s, the i7s, as well as even the 8-core 16-thread uh, Ryzen 7 chip. See, so you know, really tap into that value there because it seems to be a good balance of cores, threads, cost, and all of that good stuff. So once we start seeing some numbers roll out, we'll be able to make a more accurate uh, depiction of that. Now, the two Ryzen 5 6-core 12-threaded processors are the uh, Ryzen 5 1600 and Ryzen 5 1600X. We've already talked about the 1600X, but the 1600 is a bit less expensive, and it features 6 cores, 12 threads, at a lower 3.2 base with a 3.6 uh, turbo, with XFR, the additional 50 megahertz on XFR for the single core applications providing your cooling allows for it. Now the two Ryzen 5 four core eight threaded processors are the R, the Ryzen 5 1400 and the Ryzen 5 1500X. Now both of these are four core eight thread parts where the 1400 features 3.2 with a 3.4 turbo and the 1500X features a 3.5 gigahertz base with a 3.7 gigahertz turbo. And the X again carries the 100 megahertz XFR while the non-X carries the 50 megahertz. As far as cooling with these, they all of them except for the 1600X will be coming with a cooler. The, R5, the Ryzen 5 1400 comes with the Wraith Stealth, so the smaller, uh, more flush one. This will probably be a great part for home theater PC builds, in my opinion. Um, low power, low noise, 
and what have you, that'd be perfect for that. Now the 1600 and the 1500X, the 1500X being the only X part so far that comes with a cooler, comes with a Wraith Spire. Now something to note here that we dis that was discussed on our call was the Wraith Spire will not come with an LED for this one. So it will not be an RGB LED. That Wraith Spire with the RGB LED is reserved for the R7 1700. So if you want that, you'll have to kind of step up to that. Uh, word on whether they'll sell that individually or not has yet to be discussed or been finalized. It's being discussed, so no real word on that one way or the other. Now, the big news here is Ryzen 5 uh, will be launching on April 11th, which is Q2, but it's not the typical Q2 or quarterly releases where it launches at the end of a quarter. It's like right at the beginning, in fact, the second weekend of the quarter. So that's great to see. Pricing is quite competitive. It's actually a little better than what I had personally anticipated with the flagship 1600X coming at $249. That's six cores, 12 threads with the 3.6 base, 4 gigahertz turbo with XFR for $249. Uh, bumping it down, you save uh, 30 bucks, gets you the 1600 with a cooler. Dropping it down to the 1500X for $190, you're looking at a quad core, eight thread part. Uh, Again, we don't know performance numbers just yet, but that's a lot of processor for less than $200. The real kind of kicker here, and it's going to take seeing some of these getting into the wild and seeing how well they overclock or not, is the $169 4-core 8-thread. Yeah, it's 3.2 base with the 3.4 turbo, but you're looking at a quad-core 8-threaded CPU, even if it's a lower clock speed, for $179, or $169 rather, and it's competing against a dual core quad threaded Intel part and it's actually cheaper than the i3 7350K so um, that's gonna be interesting to see how that that affects that market because these processors are all quite well poised to f go with the B350 class motherboards which is quite frankly what I would recommend for all of these. I don't think I would recommend a higher end X370 board for many of these chips. Now, the thing is they're so cheap it could leave you uh, money to spend on a better motherboard, but that's entirely up to you. But that's uh, one, one last thing that we wanna to touch on that was discussed uh, post the briefing whenever during the Q&A was the TDP of these chips. Now, the, R, the Ryzen 5 1400, 1500X and 1600 are all 65 watt parts. So that 1500X with the quad core 8 thread is a 65 watt part. It's um, quad core 8 thread, 65 watts. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. And we'll see how that translates into power draw performance and so, so forth once it's actually released. But the Ryzen 5 1600X, it is a 95 watt part and it does not come with a cooler. Um, AMD sees that in that price range and that performance bracket that people are more likely to purchase their own uh, CPU cooler. That's the same thing they did with the 1800X and the 1700X and something that a lot of people gave Intel a lot of grief for with their k skew parts on the 6600K and the, and the, well, the, the 6600K, 6700 and the 7700K and 7600K not having a cooler. So something to take into consideration there whenever you're being a little harsh on someone else but forgiving when someone else does it. It's um, I still don't see any reason they couldn't have bundled a cooler of some type for, the, for at least making sure that owners could get started. There's a lot of people out there right now that bought uh, 1800Xs or 1700Xs in a ordered a cooler and a motherboard and found out that somehow even though it sort of supported it it didn't quite all the way support it because of fitment so those people are still having to buy other coolers send stuff back anyway I digress that's that's a whole topic for a different discussion but these have been the details on the Ryzen 5 line of processors this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV if you found this video informative or entertaining feel free to leave us a like comment and please subscribe so that you don't miss any more again review for the 18 x is coming up i promise all the kinks have been ironed out on our end so that we can bring you proper numbers from us that we can stand behind going forward all right guys we'll catch you all in the next video